So this question starts off by providing us with this equation here, 7 times 2x minus 3 is equal to 63. It goes on to say which equation has the same solution as the given equation. So I see that choices A and B have a 2x minus 3 involved. I see that choices C and D have a 2x minus 21 involved. And I can see how if I take this and simply divide both sides by 7, I'd end up with a 2x minus 3 on the left-hand side. So I'm going to start off trying that route. And I'd have 2x minus 3 equals 63 divided by 7, which is 9, which would make choice A the correct answer. Now, if you didn't notice that, that's perfectly fine as well. Um, you could have continued on this process here and got 2x equals 12, and then dividing both sides by 2, you'd have x equals 6. You would just have to remember that then you'd have to take that 6 value and plug it into x in each option to see which one was correct. You could have also distributed the 7 across the parentheses here to get a 14x minus 21 equals 63. Of course, which then we could have added 21 to both sides of the equation, leading us to have 14x equals 84. Divide both sides by 14. And let's see, when I do 84 divided by 14 in my calculator, I get 6. So I have x equals 6. And again, you would plug in 6 to each one of these things. So sometimes it's nice to glance at the answer choices just to see if there's any shortcut to getting there. Because you know to do this work and then still have to plug 6 in, although you know A ends up being the right answer, but to still think that well now I have to go and plug 6 into each case to make sure it works is a bit more frustrating, right, or doing this work and having to do the same thing than to have noticed from the beginning that this 2x minus 3 here looks just like this 2x minus 3, right? And we can just isolate it by dividing both sides by 7. Either way, choice A is the correct answer.